Joseph. Oh, okay. The Ubanks and the Martinez is here. I see that. <laughs> In the shot there, man. I'm trying. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that works, huh? Oh. We're going to give it a couple more minutes. Hello, guys. Thanks for joining us. In here. Just let this song play out a little bit. Give people time, other people time to come in. Let me know if you can't hear us so that we can change that. <laughs> so, let's put this on silence. So, not the other. Oh, no, that's good. Alright. Sweet. And I know about you. My money's all night. It takes you away like I do. I like the song, I like the song. Yeah, so far. How was the week for you too? Okay. So it looks like Twitter did post. That's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Your Facebook yeah, Facebook. Looks like I got on the home. Facebook is working good. Yeah. Yeah. Facebook is people know. He's on my phone, so I'm on Facebook. Okay. Okay. All right, we're just going to go ahead and start. And hopefully, other people will join us. So today, guys, we're going to start with talking about Hurricane Harvey. If you haven't heard of it already, which would be kind of weird, but you haven't, start praying for them. They definitely need prayer if you can't do anything else. I know the Red Cross, the National Guard, and FEMA are all responding to rescue people and get that situation sorted. Uh, don't forget that they will need help even afterward for cleanup and to help people as they get back to life as normal. Uh, if you can give, please do so. Even a dollar will make a difference to the people there. We'll have links after the show you can use to help trusted local and national organizations help other people. So, uh, next, we're going to talk about the eclipse. We were not able to see the eclipse itself, but we're able to experience the effects of the eclipse. And it was pretty awesome. What did you think about that? I thought it was pretty interesting the way the, the <laughs> temperature change, the light change, everything happened so quick and then kind of went back to normal. The lights didn't go off right away. The security lights, they stayed on for a while. But Yeah, that was pretty cool. Huh? 
we had a really annoying person out where we were in Muck's Corner who, like, you knew it wasn't going to get as dark as, like, excuse me, nighttime. I thought it might at first. But. but he's running around like, oh my god, it's so dark, I can't even see my hand in front of my face. Just being a jerk. Don't be that guy, guys, please. We know it's not going to be, you know, that dark, but we are having fun. It's something that's different. We're having a new experience. Why does it have to be... Why do people have to do that? Anyway. <laughs> um, so I really liked how dark it got and the cooling effect of it and stuff. I also really liked the memes people had out there. And my favorite one was Moon Pie. So Moon Pie <laughs> had this video where they had the sun in the upper area and they used a moon pie to go across <laughs> like the moon. <laughs> and I thought that was great. Um, what else? Let's see. Um, something else that happened after the eclipse was something people were calling eclipse crud. A number of people became sick after watching it and being out there and everything. I think that's what happened last week to me because, oh my gosh, I don't know. I felt really bad. I felt like I had a cold or something. I think I was struck by eclipse crud. So, eh, I'm over it now. Uh, did you guys know that the next one you can see in the U.S. is seven years away? And I've read that one of the best places to see it is Ohio. Guess what? Road trip. <laughs> That's right, road trip. <laughs> well, if you really wanted it in a road trip in two years, it's one in Africa. Yeah, one in Africa in two years. I don't know if I want to go to Africa, though. No, I, mean, I don't. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. The only overseas thing I really want to do is it's Ireland. Yeah, Greece and Ireland. I don't know about That's Greece, it. but I do want to go to London. Yeah, London. England would be fun. I finally get to see some of the places all these English shows I like to watch. I like to see Stonehenge. Happen. Stonehenge. Okay. Hey, Earl. So now I kind of want to talk about a most unlikely thing when it comes to travel. Not everyone thinks about mm -hmm. is weather, right? And when we set out on any wander or adventure, we try to always check the weather first. Weather has an effect on people in many different ways, from little things like creating mud in your yard, or to the bigger things like aches, pains, and headaches before, during, and after storms. Weather can make a day perfect or terrible. For me, if it's too humid, the likelihood that I'll have an asthma attack goes up. So, where I travel, changes depending on the weather. Brendan and I have had conversations before about where to go that is totally about how to get away from rain or out of the heavy humidity that rests on the Charleston area. Yeah. It can be so cool to get out from under the storms and watch them from afar. You get to experience the beauty of the nature without the immediate ill effects like getting wet. <laughs> Uh, what do you guys say? Have you ever chased a storm to see the lightning or driven out of town to watch the storm over your town from a safe distance? We have, and some of the most beautiful sights we have been, is when we look up and watch God do his thing with weather. We actually did that uh, rather recently. Um, yeah. We didn't even have to go too far. <laughs> no, it just went to... Yeah. Wow. We just went over okay. to this armory. Oh, I said armory. Yeah. yeah, place. And sat in their parking lot and watched the lightning. So that was a lot of fun. We did also, I think it was either a travel storm or a hurricane off the beach. Yeah, that was a couple of years ago. That and was um, hurricane, or was it maybe a hurricane or a tropical storm, but Earl. Like, this because it was Earl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So either travel storm Earl or Hurricane Earl. It didn't hit land, but it got close enough where you could see it if you're standing we on did the beach. That, we did that for uh, Irene, too. Yeah. For so her, Earl right. and Irene, we mm -hmm. went out there and saw and just watched it go by. And that was so cool. Like, you've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything like that in my life. We <laughs> tried to do that last year with the hurricane, but thank goodness. Yeah, no, that was hidden land. That was hidden land, so we didn't really do that. No, don't do that. Um, you gotta be safe, too. Don't, yeah. put yourself, don't be stupid. Put yourself in harm's way. Yeah, exactly. Don't be stupid. <laughs> don't be stupid, stupid. Anyway. <laughs> what did they say? Key? Kiss. Yeah, keep it simple, stupid. That's right. If you're gonna get hurt, don't do it. What is that? Was that their joke? I told the doctor... 
hurt when I did, I did this. this. The doctor said, don't do that. Don't do that. That's right. <laughs> um, so one of our other trips up to Columbia was to get out of the humidity. And it was... Which one was that? Granby, Granby or uh, Finley? I think it was Finley. I don't know. Whichever one had the... It was the one with the waterfall fountain. That was Finley. Finley Park. Okay. Was was us trying to get away from the humidity because it was crazy. Crazy humidity. It's just strange. Um, you know, it was only like a couple hours, maybe three hours away or so. And... It completely changed. Like the weather completely changed. So weather has a big, it has a big impact on what you do, no matter if you're sitting here or not. You know, I thought about when I was writing this, I was thinking about I should write about you know how it changes crop stuff and everything. That doesn't really, <laughs> that's not really talking about travel. But I mean, weather plays a big part in everything we do in our lives and. One of the things that's not to make light of the situation or, or to say people who want permanent homes are wrong. They're not. You should have a permanent home if that's what you want. Um, but to me, when it comes to these things, if, if the weather gets too bad, the reason I like being a, what they call a traveler in England is because I can then get into, I can close my house, get into my car, or my truck and drive away from that inclement weather. And then if I want to go back, I can. But then nothing, I haven't lost anything. Everything that I, every person that I love and everything that I want to keep before I die goes with me and it doesn't get ruined and all this other stuff. So there is like one advantage to that. <laughs> other than that, that's just me want, wanting to wander the world and see what God did with it. So. Um, oh, that's really all I have. What do you guys think? Any comments? Did you ever, like I said, did you ever go anywhere just to view weather? Like, do you, I really, really, ever since I was a kid, I can remember going outside to watch thunderstorms, watch the lightning and enjoy it. Like, I don't know. We just always did that. Did There's you guys that one, do that? There was that one, that one week that we, one Sunday we went out to Asheville. Mm -hmm. just to watch the sunrise on yeah. the wrong side of the mountain so we missed it but yeah <laughs> that's a great story my brother and Brendan and I all decided that we were going to basically pull an all-nighter or did we take a nap I can't remember exactly I took a nap in the back you took a nap okay you guys, I think, pulled the all-nighter. So we're going to pull an all-nighter. What are we going to do all night? So what we decided to do was drive into North Carolina and watch the sunset, or sorry, sunrise as we are at, on the mountain, because I've never done that before. I've never been on the mountain to watch sunrise. And we got there. We're on the wrong side of the mountain. The cops stop us. <laughs> I was driving, four, I was driving on Blue Ridge Park by four o'clock in the morning. And of course, the cops going to stop you. Yeah, but it was it was cool though because we still got to see like we still got to see the first the sun come over the mountain and be on a mountain when the day began. For me, that was pretty cool. But that was just trying to get out of here. Earl says also traffic is a big factor as far as weather goes. Yes, it is a huge factor because especially around here in Charleston, for some reason. Oh, Don't gosh. even go there. People do, cannot seem to drive for the life of them. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that is. For some reason here it, in Charleston. It, 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 it's, well, let's drive like crazy. And let's go somewhere because we're cooped up in the house. Yeah. Or no, stay home. People, people drive real slow or real fast. People won't. A lot of times I'm on the road and I'll see people. They'll be on their phone or they won't turn their lights on like you're supposed to. The law for that is, around here in Charleston anyway, in South Carolina, I mean, is that if you're using your lights, if you're using your windshield wipers, your lights have to be on. Come to Florida, it's much worse. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> I haven't been down to Florida in about, oh gosh, what was it? Now? It's been 25 years. <laughs> I would like to go back, but I haven't been there since Disney World. Since Disney World, yeah. Disney World, I'll tell you how long it was been. Because the, the main attraction at Disney was uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Yeah, it's been a while then. <laughs> so, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the the traffic is a huge factor. One of the things that, that the, one of the 
things about Harvey right now is that what was it? The mayor wanted to evacuate, but the senator didn't. Or no, something the, the like governor that. wanted to evacuate, and the mayor didn't. The mayor didn't, right? So they they didn't want to do that because in another storm situation, they had people evacuate, and people were dying in their cars and stuff they ran like that. Out of gas and died in the car. Yeah, yeah. ran out of gas, died in cars. They, they were uh, overheated in cars and died. But if you take like the that. if you take a look at the picture that I saw. Interstate 610 mm -hmm. on Sunday morning, where it's all where it's almost up to the bottom of the sign of the road signs that they have over the interstate. You're like, yeah, because kind of kind of glad the most people didn't venture out. That's pretty dangerous. Well, I mean, they could have done it before it gotten before it right, got to that, that yeah, problem. Exactly. But I mean, geez, like uh, it, it really matters when you leave and everything else here. When when we have hurricanes, people are watching it every day. They're they're yeah. watching the, the the weather every day to try and figure out if they're going to leave or not. It doesn't sound like you, uh, Texas has that whole uh, lane reversal thing that we have going on either. No, that's true. Um, here, the last time we had a hurricane, was it a hurricane? Yeah, yeah, it was a hurricane. Okay, the last time we had a hurricane here, they did this thing where the, both lanes of the interstate went one direction. Yeah. So if you were on, so if you need to get out, there's two lanes of interstate Yeah, you traffic. could get on, but you couldn't get off. Yeah. If you were on the opposite side of the interstate, you couldn't get off until you got to Columbia. If yeah. you were on the right side, you could get off anytime, you, anywhere you wanted. Yeah, that's true. If you were on the wrong side, you had to wait until Columbia <laughs> or I-95 before you could get off. Yeah. So, I don't know, it's just something else to think about. For me, I don't know, I, I have that traveler, wanderlust gene, and as soon as I see anything I don't like, it's like, well, well time to close up the house and get in the truck and leave. Well, <laughs> I don't that know. That makes me think next you time know? next day, next time there's a hurricane, I might just go to travel on the wrong side of the interstate. Just to go, yeah, just to That's experience it. Just that. to experience <laughs> traveling on the wrong side of the interstate. You, you, never, get, you never get to do that unless you're... Unless you're in a hurricane, your evacuation. That's true. That would be pretty cool. That's true. That would be pretty cool just to experience it and take the video and everything. Of, hey, look, guys, I'm driving on the wrong side of the wrong side. side. Yeah. And I'm not getting in the wreck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that might be fun. I don't know. We might do it just for that. Just just call out of work and be like, yeah, I ain't coming in. I'm leaving. <laughs> it's just, even if it's just you go up to 95. <laughs> yeah. And turn, get around, turn around, around and come back. Just I don't to know. <laughs> Could be fun, huh? Yeah, that could be, yeah, fun. Could I, be I, fun. I'd like to do that. I'd like to say, take video of it. Yeah, why yeah. not? Right? Post it up on on Facebook. Hey, we're going the wrong way. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I don't know, guys. Um, I just wanted to talk about that because it is important to notice. I know. Also, whenever we have gone places, we're like, okay, we're gonna go to this place, and then we looked at the weather, and it's pouring down rain, and it won't stop raining for the next two days. So we've had to change. We've had to go somewhere else. Yeah, because fortunately, we've never we've always looked at the weather before we left. We didn't just go and say, "Oh crap, we're getting rained on." Yeah, we usually take a look at that, and that's usually a good thing. Yeah, it usually is, just because you don't want to get caught somewhere either, you know. Especially since we don't really have an umbrella; we've only got one. Yeah, but who cares about an umbrella? But <laughs> I like having an umbrella. <laughs> you, you don't want to get caught in like a, a, a thunderstorm or a tornado. Or well, yeah, like but I mean, we've been driving before. There, there's mm -hmm. been one or two times where we haven't checked for the weather, right? So here's another story for you. We're driving along, I think, around in the island somewhere, and it just starts pouring down rain. I mean, you can't see anything in front of you hardly. We're going maybe 25, 30, um, just trying to uh, get home. And what we hear is in just like a split second, it's a like that, right? And it's just this really loud noise and our car shakes and it's the thunder and the lightning and a branch from a tree that has hit our car. It scared the crap out of us. I don't remember that. <laughs> you don't? No, I, I do. don't. I do because it scared the crap out of you first. <laughs> You're like, oh, and I was like, it's just a branch. Just keep going. <laughs> Where were we going? Folly or something? I don't remember. All I remember is we were on one of those back roads in South Carolina back roads that have those pretty... The back roads here have the prettiest scenic route, but they have all those trees over the We must have been going we must be so, down 61 then. Yeah, probably. And just bam, that thing hits us and we're like, oh, God. <laughs> so, 
So I don't remember that at all. Weather can affect you that way too. Carl says, no cell phone law. Most drivers are foreign and don't know English. Oh, really? In Florida, you mean? I think I remember you saying that before. Because well, they're that all would visiting. make sense about Spanish. Well, a lot of big Spanish Cuban population down there. Oh, really? Especially in Miami. And then people From are visiting. What I've heard. Well, people are visiting to do the Magic Kingdom thing or whatever. Magic Kingdom, the Universal Disney thing. Studios. Yeah. So that's something never else. Never did get to go see the Back to the Future. Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe they'll have it again. No. You never know. No? no? Okay. <laughs> well, the thing right. I can do now is watch the ride on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> That should have maybe been something you prioritize for travels, man. <laughs> well, I didn't think. I didn't want to go anywhere and travel until we got together. Oh, okay. <laughs> By that time, it was too late. They were had other. They, oh, they okay. take it. They taken it down for the Simpsons or, or Jurassic or World something or something. Yeah. Oh, okay. Last one up was in Japan, and it's already it's, it's down to. It's now. down to. Oh no. Well, I think that's where we're going to go ahead and close, guys. Thank you for joining us, everybody. Thanks, Earl, for all the comments and talking to us. And we will see you guys next week. Remember, check the weather. You never know what's going to be happening out there. All right. Bye.